people up against like top 20 and one defense. What were you seeing uh, on film from them? I mean, they're not an SEC team, but I guess they're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, they're pretty good. So, um, I guess they're running themselves in their numbers, but hopefully we come here and um, just play and how we've been playing a couple weeks and get things rolling. How much did it help the last couple weeks with uh, running a lot outside and, you know, different creative kind of running? Has that done a lot to open up some lanes that weren't there before? Mm -hmm. That's probably a little bit of everything, you know, running outside, kind of loosen things up, and then, um, you know, just we got in our minds a lot better. We're going to run the ball. We're going to be um, do a lot better at it, and that's what's going to happen. When you say get in your minds, is it, you mean like you in your mind? Uh, everyone, everyone has a team has that a you're going to run the ball, period, more than you. Auburn has, you know, a pretty stout D-line. You guys are able to get, you know, 135 yards rushing on. How much confidence is that going to give you guys as an offensive unit, you know, going forward in the a lot of confidence because, you know, as you know, Auburn has a great defense, a big, you know, big style offensive line, and great backers and secondary. So, you know, we're able to move the ball on them. We weren't able to get points, so we're able to move the ball, hold the ball a lot. So hopefully we can use that momentum going to the last two games of the season. That last drive in particular, you able to run the ball in the field. And all. What does that say about, you know, Kirby and uh, Jim Chang's confidence that you guys just move the ball in the crunch time? I mean, it says a lot, but, you know, as a team, the ones on the field, you know, we also you know, execute the plays that they call. We're able to get things rolling and move down the field on them. What kind of progress have you seen with this line? Um, being able, especially this past game, pulling well, getting the, the outside blocks well. Yeah, it's a lot of progress. You know, those guys up front, you know, uh, and they, made, they came a long way. We all have, I think, and it's starting to finally pay off. So, it's been kind of a challenging season in a lot of ways. Um, I mean, are you having, I mean, is it, is it fun? Is it still fun whenever, you know, you're not exactly having the results you want? Mm -hmm. are, you, are you still able to have a lot of fun and, and, you know, being around the guys that you practice with and stuff? Oh, definitely. It's always fun, you know. These guys that come out every day and practice with them, play with them. You know, not in a bad way, but we're not really, you know, fighting for national, champ national championships. So it's kind of allows you to kind of sit back and actually enjoy yourself a little more. Just enjoy the you know, last couple of games you have with the teammates and just kind of have fun. How much does getting to use that 24-hour rule to celebrate a big win like you got to this past week help help in that? I mean, is it a little easier to have fun when you win a ball game like that? Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's the worst feeling when you lose, especially at home, so we're able to win. You know, just kind of celebrate 24 hours, like you said, which is um, we endured ourselves and had a good time. Are you able to do that? Are you able to put it behind yourself in 24 hours? Or it takes some time. I mean, I know everybody can't be the same when it comes to that. Well, we're not really putting it behind. It's kind of, you know, not speaking upon it anymore. You just kind of let you know, the mistakes you had or whatever you did, you know, you just kind of just let it go, but you still think about it. You're still prepared to get better. How so long does one stick with you? I mean, personally. Until mm, I feel like I corrected it or I feel like we corrected it. But it all sticks in the back of my head. Something like really bad, like Kentucky, I still think about, think about that game. And um, two fumbles I had, you know, kind of never goes away. I saw you guys were practicing recovering errant football snaps, mm -hmm. fumbles, anything like that. I mean, is that just. Was that a first time deal after Saturday with all three of you guys going after it? Or yeah, it was kind of a first time thing because I was the first one there and I actually missed the ball. So, you know, the film doesn't lie. We'd have a film that probably got, got away with it. But. How aware are you of where you are in the uh, career rushing charts of Jordan? How special is it to see yourself passing some of these famous running backs and have a few ahead of you pretty close to you? Yeah, I try not to think about it, but, you know, social media, you know, people tag me in it. My mom just excited about this. So. <laughs> people tell me about it all the time, but maybe, I mean, it'd be an honor to, you know, get up there. Uh, he won the top back to the University of Georgia, University of Warburg's way ahead, but hopefully I'll get everyone else. If I do, you know, it'd be truly a blessing. It looks like you could get number two by the end of the year if you have, if you have a good finish. Is that, I don't know if a goal is the right way to put it. Uh, I never really thought about it, but, you know. Might as well go for it while we're here. You, uh, I mean, in terms of graduating, what's your major and, and where are you at? Do you know when you're going to graduate at this point? Yeah, I'm an ag major, so I'm on pace. So it'll be my end of my senior year in May. You talked about uh, the fumbles, the turnovers. You know, with a team like you, a lot of people coming in here trying to pull an upset, they're going to you know, try to stress them and take advantage. Yeah, how much have you guys stressed that the importance of that down in We've always stressed it, but we really, we haven't turned the ball over a lot this season. So um, Kentucky, you know, it was bad. A lot of that was on me, and I'm 
before that, I don't think we were turning the ball over a lot. So we, we always stress, so we're always on it. We're always on top of ball security. You hear that um, a lot in the practice and the meetings and everything. So we're, we're on top of that. Mm -hmm.